Calling all units, calling all units. Donut Shot has a fresh dozen. Go ahead and take a 1040. The running, like, the running man challenge was a perfect example. And he didn't want to do the running man challenge. Yeah. I was like, what's the purpose of this? And, and, and elaborate. I have my, I think I have the answer, but for, for the audience, why, why do you do a running man challenge? All right. Story behind it real quick. Uh, NYPD got challenged by New Zealand. New Zealand does a running man uh, in 2016. Challenges NYPD. I'm looking at these videos and I'm like, well, New Zealand did good. You know, shout out to NYPD, nothing but love. That's where the B Boys started. You know, uh, hip hop. Uh, however, the Running Man wasn't that great. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, man, we could smoke this Running Man challenge. Look how many views, millions of views. Like it was like two million for one, and then the other one had like a million. So NYPD catches the pass from New Zealand and then passes it on Chicago and another large agency up north, we get totally bypassed. So I was like, oh man, but why don't we just do it? Why don't we just do it? And of course, um, it was actually, it was you and Ramos in the, in the office. And they're like, ah, but we didn't get challenged. So it kind of looked weird, you know? We're just like, hey guys, look at us. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know? <laughs> and we're like dan- dancing, doing our stuff. And, and it just would have been weird. So I was like, man. And then I was like, I could break dance. And they're like, nah. Nah, you can't break dance. I'm like, bro, I can break dance. Maybe like back in the day, like on a on a piece of cardboard, you, you guys. But get out of here. Yeah, and they would they would yeah. josh me. They were yeah. joking with me. Yeah. So I was like, oh, all right, all right. So it is what it is. You don't believe I can break dance. So then, Miami Beach got Miami Beach gets challenged from somewhere over the pond, and on the in the UK it gets challenged, and then Miami Beach shout out to Ernesto, which might get him on. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. He says he's down. Uh, Ernesto, actually, let's go down to Miami Beach and do that one. Oh, we could do that. <laughs> so uh, Ernesto challenges us, and I was like, "Yes!" Yeah, but until then, the, all those, the, the if you looked at all the uh, Running Man challenge was just like they just started dancing. There was no rhyme or reason. Mm-hmm. There was no storyline mm-hmm. to it. Yeah, it was so we to were it. brainstorming. I was like, "You know what? We were pushing the vlog." Yeah, the vlog had just started. Um, we we're trying to get more subscribers, more people to go on to YouTube and, and follow us. That's where I was going with my question. So yes. good job, Nick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you set him up. <laughs> so <laughs> we're like, all right, let's use that to bring more awareness. Mm-hmm. So the idea was put Nick as if he was vlog- vlogging throughout the department, mm-hmm. doing different things, and everybody kept approaching him. Hey, Nick, running man challenge. Hey, Nick, running man challenge. And then because that was already probably happening. Yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah. It was yeah. And we got challenged yeah. by the beach. It was a true story. Yeah, yeah. And we got, we got challenged. challenged by the beach. So the chief was even on board. Chief yeah. Giannis, if you see there, it was like, "Hey, Nick, I don't like getting challenged." Yeah. You know, so and Ramos was right by him. And Ramos, yeah, I mean, Ramos was there too. So that's the storyline we came up with, and then we went into it, and then we put a twist. I think we were the first one to put a twist into it because it wasn't just a running man challenge. So he, quick he, backstory: I was a DJ. Uh, I still actually, I just put my equipment into a storage uh, teardrop. But um, I was a DJ for many years, high school, house parties, records, uh, you know, techniques, all that stuff. So I'm like, let's mix, let's mix in some flavor. Let's mix in some flavor. And we came up with uh, 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 Gloria Stefan. Come on, chick, you better be to do that. But even, on, even the, the Running Man Challenge song that was being used was I mi- a, a I found mix the remix. of it. No, the, the remix. The, so what it was is the original to catch it. Oh, they're doing a the run. And then, like, within a couple seconds, change it to... Mm-hmm. This is how we do it in Miami. And then, yeah. you know, ding, 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 ding. It's almost like a travel video, too. Yeah. Or a, uh, you know, like a, a tourism board <laughs> advertisement. And then I did, uh, and then I, and then I did the, it was like a hip hop. That wasn't hip hop, but it was like a B-boy. You could break to this version. I found the remix and then we dropped that thing. And then uh, at Breakdance, this is a funny story behind that. I don't want to take up all the time because this is good, but it's a good, where are we on it? I might have to get tell it again. So, so to go back, uh, I told you that these guys didn't believe that I could, Break, break dance, dance. you know yeah. you know they they need to see it they're the guys no no i need to see it you know yeah. so the night before i'm stretching and i'm like all right and then the mirror about to go in the shower and i'm stretching I'm like, <coughs> and i crack my hip <coughs> i was like ooh, maybe i don't i don't warm up i'm just gonna give it all i got and leave it on the floor so it goes down to the 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 break dance circle at the end of the video and they're like all right let's see what you got and we shot all that in one morning. Oh, yeah. We got challenged the night before. The next day, we, w- we got in early. Actually, went to a, a news interview. And that's a whole other story. We went to a news interview. 
that was Spanish, and if you know who I am, I don't speak Spanish. But he agreed for our first news interview to be on a Spanish channel. <laughs> <laughs> so, C. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. You know, he speaks fluent, you know, uh, but I, I just suck at Spanish. Yeah. And my last name is Perez, so it's, it's horrendous. So anyways, we go, we finish that. I'm on, the, I'm on the bottom of the ground. I had a horrible interview. I called my mom. I was down in the dumps. You know, it was tight. early in the morning. It, yeah. was like, uh, it was like 6 in the morning when we got there. It was 5, 6 in the morning. Oh, yeah. So... And I, I was feeling like poopy, caca, doo doo. Yeah. So uh, Running Man starts. We get to work early, and we go, bam, we're moving and grooving. We shot that, and it was like 2 p.m., right? Edited it, put it out that same day at 2 p.m. Wow. <laughs> Took off. And there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a reason why it went viral, and I can, I can tell you the reason. There's a lot that had to do with it, but the stars are online. So going back to the breakdance part, okay? It's my time to shine, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to give it all I got. I told him, I'm going, and I'm going. I don't know what I'm going to break. I don't know what's going to happen. You ready? Ready. He's ready. Gonna fly off. Action. Dun, 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 dun. Break dance. I hit my windmills. Oh, my God. My body's holding up. <laughs> shoo, 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 shoo. I end. Ooh, bam. All right. Everyone's like, woo. Everyone's impressed. Everyone's like, oh, my God. I'm like, oh, my God. I did it. I survived. Go over to him. <sighs> How'd it look, man? How'd it look? What'd you tell me? I go, we're going to have to do it all over again. I, for hit, I forgot to hit record. <laughs> <laughs> he, forgot, <laughs> he forgot to hit record. Classic. I, bro, my face, I got pale. I was like, no. Wait, maybe I need to take a break so I can check these cameras real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bro. Oh, my. Are you kidding me? Because he's a joker. Yeah. You know, he says he's the manager, but he's also a joker. You know, yeah, yeah. Like, I spin an idea and it turns into something with him. But anyways. I'm like, oh, my God. So I'm checking my body. You know, you check all your giblets. Yeah. Make sure you're all still intact. You know? Just gushing blood. Yeah, out okay. No, no. I'm good. Oh, my God, I'm good. Okay, you know what? This time, I'm going to do my hardest ever. Like, I'm just, I'm just going to go as hard as I can, do the fastest windmills I've ever done. So, mother jumper, you better hit record. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. So, record. As I'm doing the windmills, you could you just slow down and watch my face. I'm rolling. Because I'm pushing so hard that in between each women, I'm going. <laughs> 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 so that's burr, the cut that you burr, used on the video. Burr, yes. <laughs> burr, burr. And my, oh man, it's so bad because. <laughs> Because everyone's mouth is open and the, my legs are fanning the wind, <laughs> and everyone's like, "Yeah!" with their mouths open, just catching and, greens, I don't, and smoking uh, their mouth. And I'm just rolling. I'm like, "Oh my god! I hope no one hears me." So, right, and they're, bah, 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 bah. "Oh my god!" Every windmill was that. It was so. That's a secret. Spinter. Yeah, it's a loose story. So you actually did not hit record on the first one. No, he didn't. What it is with the we were using the the GH fours. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get out, of, if you hit the record and you're on a different screen, it goes back to the the screen. It doesn't actually start recording. So oh, you have to hit oh, it like yeah. twice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it and that's what it was. Yeah. I had been reviewing, so I hit record. It didn't record. It oh, went to the other screen. God. That was. So, but it turned. It worked out. Hey, but, I actually hey, did that faster. Was a, that was a complex scene. Yeah. Because there was a lot that goes on once yeah. you land, you yes. still gotta have the bomb tape. Squad walk by with the tape. The no, that was Walt. That was oh, Walt. Walt. Killed Walt. it. No, Walt. Walt. Bomb Squad was there, but yeah. the, the tape, the Walt walked by. Yeah. So I mean, it's still that's that's the other part of production that's yeah. sometimes crazy. Like you might hit your, yeah. you know, you might hit your mark, but then you got everybody else is just busy like choking from farts <laughs> or. <laughs> <laughs> or, or whatever. <laughs> go, I gotta do this a third time. Yeah. The audience is like, no more, please, no more. <laughs> he might poop himself so, this time. So the magic the magic behind that running man is that the heat, the heat had just come off of getting knocked out of the finals. Ooh. So Miami was down in the dumps. This is when we had Bosch, uh, LeBron, Wade, and they got knocked out of the finals. So everyone in Miami, down. Miami police comes out. Not only was it a, a badass video, you know, you got mm -hmm. police officers dancing, break dancing, but Miami got behind us. Mm. And, f man, and the stories that came from officers on the street, really? that they would, people would come up to them, man, that, that running man you guys did was so awesome. Man, it was that bridge, and cops would come up to me, officers would come up to me and say, man, that, thank you, bro, what you guys are doing, that was awesome. You know, people are coming up to me, they're thanking me, they're uh, conversating with me, mm -hmm. you know, so it helped. It helped a lot, and it was just there was a residual effect that that went out, uh, like a ripple effect that went out, and there was more to it. We had no idea. We'll, we never went viral, so we didn't know what was to come with it. 
So, <laughs> well, so that was kind of that's kind of the thing with these challenges, and some of them have cycled through the system that was uh, the first. In, in the past few years, and that was like one of the first major ones. Um, but I mean, even back to the when we were all dumping ice buckets on our heads and stuff like that, those yeah. types of challenges. But Running Man specifically, um, because it dealt really with law enforcement, it it it. If, if you can get it to go viral or at least locally, it'll bring people to your channels, bring mm. people to your social media and, and allow them to get to either get to know you, hopefully on a positive note, but then also hopefully retain them for bigger and better things or if there's emergencies and they need yeah. information from. And what was funny, a side story from that, people don't know that the backstories is, you know, the negative Nancy's mm -hmm. and the media in particular. Mm -hmm. We started getting some interviews from that, and the media, oh, well, you know, what, what would you say to people that um, are saying that you guys should be out there doing police work, right. instead you're dancing? Mm -hmm. and, you know, how does that serve a purpose? So, and that's where we, we, we killed them with the, with the answers, because it goes back to where we already had established on, at least on Facebook and some of the other platforms, good videos, public service announcement videos, uh, videos giving good information about burglaries and what we mentioned yeah. before. Mm -hmm. um, so the answer to that was this video is helping us. If you look at how many subscribers we got out of it and people and how many followers we got out of it, it was amazing. Now we can give them all this good information exactly. that we already have on our platforms. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this was a tool, the Running Man Challenge was a tool and, and, and an event or whatever you want to call it to bring in more people so that way we can now give them good information that's going to help them more. Yeah, law that, enforcement related. that's where that's where the the i guess the acceptance like okay let's let's do it because we had to sell it on that because imagine we're we're uh, we're sworn law enforcement officers right we're getting we're supposed to be doing law enforcement duties how do you justify officers with a camera and all they do are challenges Mm -hmm. So you got to give some kind of value in order in order to back that up. Like, yeah, you, it's good to mix that in, you know, and it shows the lighter side. But at the end of the day, you, you have to be on there justifying your existence or holding a camera. So you need to give out that information. So sure. and it's good information and stuff that, that you, you know, typically you won't be able to reach these people. What's up, Nod Squad? Hope you enjoyed that clip from the Donut Chop podcast. You can head on over to the Donut Chop podcast YouTube channel where we have the entire interview. While you're there, make sure to click subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can know when we upload. There's going to be tons of new content, a whole bunch of guests. If you guys have any suggestions, head on over and hit us up in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, I'll see you over on the Donut Shop podcast channel.